Have you ever been delayed on an airplane? Well, as most of you, or some of you might know, it may not have been because of mechanical issues or weather issues. It could have begun, become because of a pilot shortage. My name is Brandon, and I'm a certified private pilot and currently working on my instrument rating. And I'm going to be discussing the effects that the pilot shortage is going to be having within the next 10 years if we do not have an increase in pilots. first thing I'm going to talk about on, during the pilot shortage is some airlines are currently having to file for bankruptcy due to lack of pilots. One company, for instance, is Republic Airlines, which serves as a regional airline for American Airlines. And what a regional airline is, is they fly planes for like American Airlines, but it, said, it says American Eagle. So they fly shorter flights from like, say, Wichita to Dallas-Fort Worth, or like smaller airports to larger airports to like kind of get more of the people in the smaller areas. So in a sense, the regional airlines are very important to the major airlines like your Delta or American or ones like that. And due to the pilot shortages, some smaller airports like um, Eisenhower International cannot fly as many passengers without the regional airlines. So one way some airlines are fixing or trying to fix the pilot shortage is they're using less planes but bigger jets. And what I mean by that is, for instance, this MD-90 here might see 200 seats, where this um, Boeing 747 will see 300 seats or so. So what they do is, instead of sending the MD-90 to Wichita from Atlanta like four times a day, they will send the Boeing 747 two times a day, where they can have more seats, but they use up less pilots. So they would only use four pilots compared to six or eight pilots to fly more flights. And this is actually a pretty good idea of what the airlines are doing. And another reason the airlines are struggling and the regional airlines are struggling is because the regional airlines, like I just showed you here, they sign cheap contracts with companies like American Airlines or Delta or a large carrier. So that way they can they can get their business and fly like say American Airlines route from Wichita to Dallas or somewhere like that. According to some airline, some regional airlines are teaming up. According to Mary from the Bloomberg Press, she states that some regional airlines are are teaming up with a program called ATP. What ATP is? It's called Airline Transport Pilot Program, and what it does is it will bring you from ground zero with no flight experience all the way to 1,500 hours within two years to make it to an airline job. And this is becoming very effective for some airlines to, for recruiting purposes and different things like that. According to Sheldon Zare, who is actually a Heston graduate and currently flies for JetBlue Airlines, recently stated to me that JetBlue opened a program in Orlando, Florida called JetBlue University. And this is a similar thing as the ATP program. They will bring you from ground zero all the way to 1,500 hours. But yes, you do have to pay for it, but still it almost guarantees you a job in the future. In the future, this will affect all of us due to delayed flights. If the pilot shortage is not fixed, the ticket prices will, be right, will go higher and there will be more delays with the airlines. Out of all the states in the United States, the state that is being affected by the pilot shortage the most is the state of Alaska. Now most people would say, why the state of Alaska? But the reason is because some places in Alaska are only accessible by, by a plane or boat. So they hire pilots to fly their planes in Alaska, mostly seaplane, as you see here. And the pilots, once they get enough hours, they go get a job with a larger charter company or an airline company. So. That's how they are losing their pilots. Now that I've told you why that there is a major pilot shortage, I'm gonna to explain to you why there's a major pilot shortage. And there's three main reasons on why there is a large pilot shortage issue today. The first one is the regional airlines do not pay enough money. Some people, when they look into a career in the airlines, they say it looks like it's a bad starting salary, which it is in a sense. To come out of college with a lot of debt and then go to which is the regional airlines like American Eagle for instance here, it is not a very good starting salary so you come out of college with a lot of debt and a small starting salary and 
it's hard to get your career going. So some people just say, ah, whatever, and they choose not to enter the industry. One thing the regional airlines are trying to do is they are offering signing bonuses, where they will offer $10,000 to sign with their company to fly with them to try and lure pilots in. And some it's working for, and others, some others aren't even really care. The second reason the airlines are struggling is because of the hiring requirements. Most airlines still require you to have a four-year bachelor's degree, or for instance here, Delta requires a four-year degree, a minimum of 1,500 hours, you must be an American citizen, and you must be able to read, write, and speak the English language. These can be pretty strict, especially when you look at the 1,500 hours, which is pretty hard to accumulate over a period of time. And the third thing on why there's a pilot shortage is the FAA. The FAA in 2013 put in a new license called the ATP license, which is the Airline Transport Pilot License. This is the one that gets most people because in order to get this license, you must have a minimum of 1,500 hours in order to apply to get your Airline Transport Pilot license. And this is what would qualify you to fly for an airline company or this is what you actually have to have. And it costs a lot of extra money because of all the extra hours and different things you have to do to go to school for it, but that's another one of the main reasons. In some of the regional airlines, like I mentioned earlier, earlier, like the American Eagle planes, they do not like this rule because it is limiting them to the number of pilots they can choose from because until pilots get to this, they're not certified, so it's, it's giving them a smaller pool to choose from. As of now, I hope, you under, I hope everyone understands on how serious the pilot shortage is and how in the next 10 years, if there is still a shortage of pilots, there will be affecting our airline flights by being delayed and due to lack of pilots. <coughs> After completing some research and talking to a few sources, the number one reason that is creating the pilot shortage is the salaries at the start and the amount of money it takes to become one. At some point, if the pilot shortage will want to be solved, the regional airlines are going to have to start paying more money and raising their salaries to attract pilots. According to Sam Kurtz, who is a general aviation pilot in Sarasota, Florida, and a great friend of mine, stated that some pilots don't want to live the high stressful life of being an airline pilot. They just want to fly the smaller Cessnas and wake up on Saturday morning and go for a nice flight along the beach or something like that. And if you guys are wondering what a GA pilot is, it's a general aviation pilot and that's just a pilot who more or less just flies for leisure and if they want to go for a fun flight they do and different things like that. So thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed.